Hello, dear students. Welcome to Kerala Neet Academy. So, this is ISD, sir. Today, we are going to discuss a topic. Discuss the topic is bond order from the chapter class chemical bonding and uh, molecular structure. So, here we will calculate the bond order of different molecules. Different are like we will be discussing with uh, diatomic molecules, monoatomic molecules, etc. So, in this chapter, we need to calculate the bond order of different types of molecules. So, by knowing the bond order, because no bond order there in we can we can predict whether the molecule is stable or unstable. So, here we'll be having different types of uh, formula. Now, listen here: bond order. The definition for bond order is it is defined as half of the difference between number of bonding and anti-bonding electrons. So, if you know the number of bonding and anti-bonding electrons present in a molecule, you'll be able to predict the bond order. And bond order wonder either the value can be negative. It can be positive or it can be zero. If a bond order value positive, I wonder, that means the molecule will be stable. And if it is negative or zero, then we'll be getting like unstable molecule. So here, see the formula will be, as I told, bond order is equal to half into NB minus NA. That is the formula NB represents the number of bonding electrons and NA represents the number of anti-bonding electrons. Okay. Now listen here. We have to, about in the chapter, basically, one of molecular configuration. So, we are having two types of configuration. One of the up to nitrogen molecule is one configuration. Other than nitrogen, other we can say oxygen, then fluorine, and the molecule is another configuration. So, we will see the configuration for molecules up to nitrogen. Okay. So, the configuration will be up to nitrogen molecule. The configuration will be sigma 1s2, then sigma star 1s2. Sigma 2s2, Sigma star 2s2, then pi 2px2 equal to pi 2py2, then Sigma 2pz2, pi star 2px2 equal to pi star 2py2, and finally Sigma star 2pz2. That 2 represents the number of electrons that can be accommodated in each orbital. So, if you take sigma 1s, other than the maximum 2 electrons can be accommodated. So, Naray orbitals in the orbitals will be accommodating 2 electrons, maximum 2 electrons. And this will be the sequence for atom or molecules up to nitrogen. In a nitrogen, if you have oxygen, fluorine, neon molecules, etc., then there will be a small change. That means this has to be interchanged. That means Sigma 2pz will be coming first and after that we have to represent pi 2px and pi 2py. So, we will take some examples and we will clear it. Okay, wow. So, here first of all let us see the example. Calculate the bond order of N2 molecule and compare its stability and magnetic behavior. So, there are like we need to calculate the bond order. So, by using the formula that we have discussed, we will be using the formula to calculate the bond order. If bond order is positive, positive one, then now the molecule will become stable. And magnetic behavior, after writing the electronic configuration, magnetic behavior unpaired electrons. That means if you don't have any paired, that means if you have one or more unpaired electron on the molecule one the paramagnetic. And if there is no unpaired electron, then the molecule will be diamagnetic. So nitrogen molecule, N2 molecule one, the, the total number of electrons will be 14. N2 will be having 14 electrons. So, now we need to write the electronic configuration for this 14 electrons. So, 14 electrons are sigma 1 is the sigma 1 is the maximum electron. So, you can include maximum of 2 electrons, right? So, sigma 1 is 2. That is sigma star 1 is 1. Sigma star 1 is 2 electron can be accommodated. Then, sigma 2 is the electron. Sigma star 2 is the electron. Now, total we have accommodated 8 electrons. Now, we are having 6 more electrons. Yeah. So, next one the orbital ki energy one the same. That means, pi 2px equal to pi 2py. Dhane. Pi 2px equal to pi 2py. And on the orbital enter pannambodhi. if you are having only 1 electron, then you give that electron to pi 2px. Otherwise, if you have 2 electron, 2 electron in the equal distribute pannam. Pi 2px is electron, pi 2py is electron. It is, one the 3 electrons in the 2 for pi 2px and 1 for pi 2py. In it, 4 electrons in the, you can give 2 each. Now, we are having more than 4. Yeah, 6 electrons we are having. So, you can give pi 2px2 equal to pi 2py2. That cover 2 more electrons. And the 2 more electrons will give in sigma 2pz. Okay, wow. sigma 2pz2. So, total 14 electrons in different at molecular orbital we have distributed. 
Now we need to see which is bonding and which is anti-bonding. In the molecular orbital, without star, without star, all the elements are there. All the elements are there. Bonding molecular orbital. Okay, all the elements are there. Bonding molecular orbital. And those which have represented with star, they are called anti-bonding molecular orbital. So we need to apply the formula. Then the bond order is equal to half into n b n b minus n a. That is half into n b minus n a. So how many electrons are there in without star? That means see, in the two electrons, there are two, then four. Then six, eight, and ten. Then so that will be half into half into ten. And anti-bonding, anti-bonding. What is this? This is anti-bonding. Five star, less sigma star to one plus, and sigma star to so total four anti-bonding. Irukku, ten minus four. So answer will be six. Answer will be six divided by two, which is equal to three. So bond order. What is you are getting a positive value? Right? Bond order. What is positive value? Get it? So bond order is equal to three, and since bond order is positive, we can say that N two molecule is stable. Now, if you take the magnetic behavior, magnetic behavior, we see the highest occupied molecular orbital. So, H O M O, highest occupied molecular orbit. That means the molecular orbital which is having the highest energy. That means the last one, sigma two p z. That is, and the sigma two p z, if it is paired, paired, then you will be having diamagnetic behavior. If it is unpaired, you will be having paramagnetic behavior. अब इंगे वंदे रंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स रुकी, so sigma two p z वंदे पैर, so magnetic behaviour अन्नदे, magnetic behaviour वंदे diamagnetic, okay, the molecule will be diamagnetic, so always take the highest occupied, the last molecular orbital, the highest occupied molecular orbital, अन्दर molecular orbital ले, if it is paired, I told you diamagnetic, unpaired आय रुदा, that will be paramagnetic, and also there is a relation for a bond order, see bond order is equal to or it is proportional to stability, इबो रंड मॉलिक्यूल्स रुदे, इबो x Two and x two plus. Suppose our one the bond order different. One other bond order if it is one point five and another if it is one. But and the molecule is stable. But compare for them both bond order. Adi ka maide the molecule will be having more stability. Abo one point five will be more stable than one. So bond order is directly proportional to stability, directly proportional to bond energy, and inversely proportional to bond length. So higher the bond order, higher will be the stability, higher will be the bond energy, and lesser will be the bond length. And also one more thing, bond order, bond order equal to one, equal to two, and equal to three. Bond order equal to one represents X single bond X. Okay, that will be a single bond. Double bond represents so two, and for triple bond or X equal to bond order equal to three represents a triple bond. So by knowing the value of bond order, we can predict whether it is single, double, or triple. But remember, you'll be getting bond order like fractional values also. In such cases, that will not be applicable. So in case of H2 molecule, H2 one the H single bond H dane, so bond order is equal to one. O double bond O bond order will be two. And in the previous case that we have discussed, N triple bond N one the bond order value that is equal to three. Clear. Now we'll see another question. Arrange the following in the order of their stability. अब O2, O2 plus, O2 minus and O2 two minus. अब इन द नाल मॉलिक्यूलर और ले नाल मॉलिक्यूल्स को we need to apply the equation. Okay, that means the the bond order equation. That means electronic configuration must be applied. अदु वंदे रोंबा कष्ट ले आ. That means you need to write the electronic configuration of all the elements. So I'll give you a small tip to calculate the bond order. You just remember memorize. That means if a total electrons वंदे fourteen इरुंदा. Total electrons if it is fourteen, अदु के bond order वंदे एवलो बेरो bond order will be three. So total 14 electrons are in the bond order value one the three are. And now for each additional electron, for each electron which is less, you can you can minus like the 2.5 from this value. For example, if a 15 electrons are in the, so the 0.5 subtract one. Now we will get 2.5. For a 16 electrons are in the, again subtract 0.5 sub no subtract one with two. Then 17 electrons are in the 1.5. 18 electrons are in the one. 19 electrons are in the 0.5 and 20 electrons are in the that will be equal to zero. So for each additional electron from 14 will be reducing 0.5 from bond order and the same will be applicable for higher classes that means 13 electrons are in the again you subtract 0.5 2.5 then 12 electron are in the that will be two 11 electrons are in the 1.5 10 electrons are in the one and 9 electrons are in the 0.5 8 electrons are in the zero. Okay ba. So now listen. 13 and 15 electrons are in bond order will be same. 12 and 16 electrons are in again bond order will be same. 11 and 17 electron bond order same. 10 and 18 electron bond order will be having the same value. So we'll apply this equation. 
for calculating the bond order or the stability of the following molecule which is represented. Okay, wow. now listen here carefully. So the molecules given are O2, then O2 plus, O2 minus and O2, 2 minus. Okay, so O2 minus 1, O2, 2 minus is called the superoxide and O2 minus will be peroxide. Okay. O2 plus, O2, how many electrons are there? O2, 16 electrons. One oxygen is 8 electrons. O2 means you are having 8 plus 8, 16 electrons. 16 electrons bond order, 16 electrons. 14 plus 2 electrons. 2 times 0.5 subtract from 3. So the answer will be 2. Then O2 plus, O2 plus is 16. And the plus sign, one electron is lost. So 16 minus 1, total electrons, 15 electrons. Okay, 15 electrons. So, 15 electrons are bond order 2.5. 14 lower electron are Okay. Then, O2 minus. O2 minus 16. And the minus sign, or additional electron indicate. So, 16 plus 1. Total level electrons 17 electrons. So, 14 plus 3 electrons. So, 3 times we will subtract 0. 0.5. So, 3 minus 1.5. So, bond order value is 1.5. O2, 2 minus, O2, 2 minus, total electron 16 and the 2 minus plus 2, there are 2 more electrons that represent, Bruno. so total 18 electrons, so 4 electrons is in additional, so we can subtract 4 times 0. 0.5, so the answer will be 1. So the bond order very easy, isn't it? So bond order is equal to 2, 2.5, 1.5 and 1. So we need to arrange in the increasing order of their stability, Dane. so the minimum stability will be for the minimum bond order, so O2, 2 minus, okay, wow. O2, 2 minus less than. Then you have O2 minus. Okay, O2 minus less than O2 and O2 will be less than O2 plus. So higher the bond order, higher will be the stability. And I will give you one more shortcut. See, if you want to predict the magnetic behavior. Magnetic behavior, if the total electrons are the odd number. If total electrons are odd number, in the unpaired electrons. So that the molecule will be paramagnetic. Okay, so here, remember, Odd number total electrons one the odd number are in the, the para magnetic behavior will be paramagnetic. Okay, it will be showing paramagnetic behavior. And even number are in the other one the diamagnetic behavior. Diamagnetic behavior. Exception, odd man, that means 16. Okay. Odd number and 16 and 10 electrons. Other than the even number, and our 16 and 10 electrons will also be paramagnetic. So, even number except 16 and 10. All even numbers except 16 and 10 will be diamagnetic. And all odd numbers along with 16 and 10 will be paramagnetic. Above, see the previous question that we have done. So, 16 electrons. And the behavior will paramagnetic. 16 electrons are in the paramagnetic. Then, 15 electrons, paramagnetic. 17 electrons, paramagnetic. O2, 2 minus 18 electrons, 18 electrons means that will be diamagnetic. So, this is how we are writing the electron. That means calculating the bond order. Okay, wow. Then, which of the following species has unpaired electrons? Okay, which of the following species has unpaired electron means? See, N2. N2 means, N2 means 14 electrons. 14 electrons are the even number. Even number, we know that 14 electrons will be diamagnetic. So, there will be no unpaired electron. Okay, no unpaired electron. And also, if you want, you can see, see, this is the electronic configuration of N2, where the last one is, Sigma 2 pz 2 which uh, there is no unpaired electron. Okay. Then, F2. F2 will be 18 electrons. Up 18 electrons are magnetic behavior and 18 electrons are diamagnetic. If diamagnetic means there is no unpaired electron. There will be no unpaired electron. O2 minus than a, O2 minus the total 17 electrons will be in. So 17 electrons are in the other one. The, that means the uh, odd number. And also that will be paramagnetic. So, paramagnetically, Kandipa, there will be unpaired electron. So, there is there is unpaired electron. Okay, there will be unpaired electron. And the last one is O2, O2 minus. Oh, sorry, O2, it will be O2, 2 minus. We'll take, okay, O2, 2 minus. Up O2, 2 minus, total level of electrons, 18 electrons. 18 electrons means there will be no unpaired, because it is diamagnetic. Diamagnetic, there will be no unpaired electron. Clear? Then, See, the bond order of N2 plus, N2 minus and N2 will be. Now, you can do it. So, N2 plus, N2 plus, you are having 14 minus 1. One, the electrons, 13 electrons. 13 electrons, what is the bond order? Can you predict? That will be 2.5. Yeah, because one electron less from 14 means you have to subtract 0. 0.5. Then, N2 minus, N2 minus, 14 plus 1. Again, how many electrons? 15 electrons. So, how many, that means one electron excess. So, that also, it will be 2.5. And what about N2? 
n2 will be 14 electron that will be our standard right? so in a board order will be equal to 3 so here this is how we are calculating the point now if you are asked to calculate the magnetic behavior 13 electrons the magnetic behavior another paramagnetic paramagnetic and here it will be diamagnetic so this is all about uh, bond order hope the session is clear so if you like the channel subscribe and uh, like the video okay thank you all